What's up everyone, this is Justin from Make Supply, and in this video we will be doing a build-along tutorial for the Slim Card Wallet. This template is available for purchase in the Make Supply Etsy store, which is linked below. It is a digital download, so you can just print it out right away and follow along. If you do not wish to purchase a template, we invite you to just tag along for the build process. Hope you enjoy. Alright, let's take inventory. Start with uh, our slim card wallet template printed out on 110 pound cardstock. Piece of three to four ounce natural vegetable tan leather from Herman Oak. Slice Osborne scratch off, number two exacto knife, wing divider, craft tool, two millimeter diamond stitching chisels, four prong, two prong, cork back ruler piece of sandpaper, good Japan number one edge beveler, um, wood slicker, royal wood seven ply waxed Irish linen thread, some binder clips for gluing, Elmer's Pro Bond glue for gluing, uh, rubber mallet for using the chisels. Um, also for burnishing, a piece of canvas cloth, a little bit of water, and some make supply uh, leather craft wax. Two tandy stitching needles as well. All right, let's uh, get this going. All right, so let's look at the template first. This one's a pretty simple one. Um, it's a one piece, and when we put this together, we're gonna fold it over and stitch it together. So it's a one piece template and we're gonna cut this out now. Okay, all cut out. So again, this isn't a super complicated build, except it will, you know, it will uh, test your ability on free cutting curves and tracing curves. So it's a good lesson for that if you need some help with curves. So now we will trace this onto the leather. Oh yeah, make sure to put it be mindful of the way you put it onto the leather. If you put it with the curve facing to the right, um, it's going to fold backwards um, when you when you fold and put this together. So it would be the reverse of how you see the model photo. Um, so just make sure the text that will be on these templates is faced up, and then it will when you wrap it, it will be 
Um, actually, is that right? Confused by my own templates. Let's see here. So I want this to fold this way. This. Okay. Correction. You want to put the text that will be on here upside down. So it is the back facing out and the text facing down. So then when we fold this, it'll fold to the curve will be going to the right hand side. It'll still work the other way, but it just won't look like it does in the photo. Okay, went ahead and traced everything out there, so I'm going to cut this out off camera and then we will come back for the next step. Okay, so we just finished cutting that out. As you can see when it folds over, it uh, will take the shape of our card slot, our card wallet, sorry. So now I'm going to um, finish this top edge here. Clean it up with sandpaper a little bit. Gonna burn us with straight water today. pretty good and hit it with the leather craft wax and I will now burnish that down with the uh, canvas
Okay, looks good. So now that we have the top edge and the inside edge, which we wouldn't be able to access all finished, now we can prepare to glue this thing down and put it together. Be right back. Okay, time for glue. Line up your rounded edges and your bottom first. Makes it a little bit easier. Binder clips are great for this one because it has this bend here, and all this bend wants to do is unbend, so it's really forcing against me here but the binder clips will let me move my hands around. That part's gonna be especially tough in the corner there to hold down. Okay, we're all clipped up here. I'm gonna give this a couple minutes to dry. We'll come back and we'll clean it up and mark our stitching groove. Okay, should be dry enough to remove some of these so we can get this edge cleaned up. I like to keep them on the spots that I'm not burnishing. I just do it in two parts. That way, it really you know, in case it un you know comes apart, I don't. I won't have to deal with that. Damp sand. Now we will mark our stitching line. I'm going to start from the back corner and come up this way.
I'm gonna come up right about to where the um, straight line turns into the curve and you can stop right there. I'm just going to put a little one on the back for good measure. Okay. So to mark the holes, I'm also going to start from the back. I want a very, you know, I want to know the starting point I have here, as opposed to up here, I can kind of finagle it. So you want to start a little bit, like right before the, the split there, it's kind of hard to keep that flat, but you know, it'll, it'll start up on the curve a little bit, come down, and then go straight. That worked out pretty well. Okay, so now I did hand pressure around starting from, let's see if I can get closer here, starting from the back corner here, a little bit on the curve, came down off the curve straight all the way around up to the top here. So now I'm going to go off camera and punch all these holes through and come back. Okay, just finished punching all those holes through check out what we're working with the front and the back so to stitch this I am going to start at the back and stitch coming this way so I'm gonna start in the second to last hole go forward one and then come back and then go around and close it off the same way except I'm gonna go two stitches uh, if you need help with saddle stitching, I posted a saddle stitching video not too long ago. Um, reference that. I'm going to be doing it the exact same way I do in that video. So I'm going to stitch this off camera and then I'm going to come back and we will finish the edges. Okay, just finished stitching that up. The front and the back. So now we will clean up the edges take off the edge with the beveler and burnish and then we're done.
Okay, time to burnish a little bit of water. Hit it with a little bit of our leather craft wax. point you're all done. Can uh go get some cards which I'll do in a second here. Front back. See how they fit. There's some folded cash in there too. It's a little bit of room. There you go. If you're using natural veg tan, you might want to throw, you know, some oil or some finisher, or however you finish your leather, and you're good to go. That will conclude the Slim Card Wallet build along tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section of the blog post or the YouTube video, or you can email me directly. And hope you enjoy.